Country Music Television pulled Jason Aldean's music video for a song titled Try That in a Small Town after outcry from critics who say it's a nod to gun violence and lynching per USA Today. The lyrics in question read, cuss out a cop, spit in his face, stomp on the flag, and light it up. Yeah, you think you're tough? Well, try that in a small town. See how far you make it down the road around here. We take care of our own. You cross that line. It won't take long for you to find out. I recommend you don't try that in a small town. Aldine, who survived the Las Vegas mass shooting in 2017, vehemently pushed back against this criticism, writing on Twitter Tuesday, in the past 24 hours, I have been accused of releasing a pro-lynching song and was subject to the comparison that I was not too pleased with the nationwide BLM protests. These references are not only meritless, but dangerous. There's not a single lyric in the song that references race or indeed points to it, and there isn't a single video clip that isn't real news footage. And while I can try and respect others to have their own interpretation of a song with music, this one goes too far. Here is some of the music video. Despite the backlash, Aldine is, uh, Aldine's song is topping the charts since being released on May 19th. It's gotten over 3.8 million Spotify streams, and it's number one on iTunes' top songs and music video charts as of yesterday morning. Um, yeah, so another kind of cancel culture thing is how it's being framed as uh, this being a bridge too far for CMT. Um, I, I, I will say... He, he part of this is the he's burning a flag. I mean that is First Amendment. It really activity, that's what I was so gonna say. You can't uh, be you can't I, claim you're the pro America pro free speech faction if you're gonna like beat people up for. You're doing that. you're allowed but, to. But, co cops aren't immune from having words said at them. You're, you're allowed to talk. You're allowed to cuss out a cop. You're allowed to burn a flag. Right. Um, so I would like to, I would hope that he would advocate for people in small towns to have First Amendment rights as well. Maybe he doesn't. I wonder if anyone's going to ask him about that. But how um, would you respond to the criticism? What I'm seeing a lot of conservatives saying is that why is this not okay when uh, there are all sorts of rap lyrics glorifying um, violence and drug-related crime and gang-related crime? I think it's okay. And he he can his episode his uh, sorry uh, song is number one on the country music charts, just like any number of other songs go to number one. Despite Ben Shapiro doing multiple videos about how mystified he is about what WAP is, uh, people can make their criticisms. The world keeps turning. Mm -hmm. Hip hop songs are successful on the hip hop charts. Country songs are successful on the country charts. Um, and people get to keep saying what they want to have speech. If people want to work themselves up into a lather about this stuff over and over again, they can. I think everyone who under, you know, everyone who believes there is a subtext to his song that is um, inappropriate is going to continue to believe that. People are, you know, who are sensitive to the history of many small towns and places in, in Southern America are going to be sensitive to choices like to shoot your music video at a site where a white lynch mob strung somebody up um, at this courthouse after dragging his body through the streets in the 1920s. If you think that that's history that's long in the past and it's just a courthouse now and nobody should be sensitive about that, hey, no one can force you to. We live in a country that has a diverse population with ideological diversity. And you're not going to be able to make any, everybody happy. But if you can't handle putting out a song that attracts some criticism, you can't have it both ways. You're either sensitive to what people are going to think about you, or you're indifferent to it, and you go on and you just enjoy your professional success. But I guess to tease this out a little bit further, again, what conservatives would say is that, uh, fine, every, right, everybody can be like or not like whatever they want, and it shouldn't be anyone else's business, but... Um, but the mainstream or liberal um, music uh, network like the CMT, there there is except there is successful pressure to cancel if it's on the right conservative side and not on the mainstream side. I I don't know. It seems like he's doing very well. So I'm I'm mm -hmm. struggling to see. I mean, I, I guess CMT pulled this. I don't know. Is CMT liberal? Is the country music? Channel liberal. I mean, I, I very much remember when the chicks, 
Then the Dixie Chicks were canceled for criticizing George W. Bush by conservatives who were um, a, a significant part of, of their audience. Uh, it was, seemed completely incompatible back in 2003 to be in the country music scene and also leverage an, a, an anti-war criticism of George W. Bush. It was conservatives that canceled the chicks because they deigned to criticize George W. Bush for warmongering. And so, and they were re really canceled. They disappeared for years. Their career really took a significant hit. And they're only now just re-emerging in the last few years or so. So I don't know that I buy the argument that it's this liberal mob that's canceling everybody. If CMT pulled their video, I mean, that feels like an in-house conversation. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely been right-wing-led cancellations, too. I mean, everybody likes to say, when I'm mad about it, it's just, it's legitimate. And when you're mad about something, it's cancel culture. Yeah, I mean, look, also plenty of people are just gonna be mad about this because they just ideologically disagree with what's on, on paper and in the lyrics. The guy said he doesn't like Black Lives Matter. He doesn't agree with it. Many Americans did. 20 million Americans were in the streets protesting when George Floyd was murdered on, on camera. You know, some of this outrage is because people simply just don't agree with him, and you just gotta live with that. Mm -hmm. If you wanna do a video that has footage from a protest movement that was speaking out against police vi uh, violence and the civil liber liberties abuses that are rampant, including against so many poor and working class white people in small towns, then you're gonna get, I mean, you're gonna get pushback. Oh. Um, and to the extent that, you know, the, BLM, police abolition, all of those kinds of movements, criminal justice movements, are, are overwhelmingly associated with black activism. Frankly, I think it does a real disservice to people who are in these small town communities where there is rampant gun violence. Many people on the internet were pointing out in response to this controversy how many of the instances of school shootings and other kinds of violence happen in small towns, how high the murder rates are in so many of these disproportionately southern towns. And you know, I wonder if it's really serving his community or whoever he per perceives to be his community um, to, I don't know, have such, uh, from what my perspective is a kind of a flat analysis of what's going on in these places. But hey, it's art. And you know, he, he put his art out into the world. It got mixed reviews, but a lot of people like it. And it's trending high and you know, I'm, it probably will incentivize him to do more more tracks like this, and I'll be uh, elsewhere listening to Cardi B. <laughs> <laughs> we can all be happy. <laughs> it's not. A, I'm not a big fan of country music personally, so this is not my jam exactly. I think the chicks either, are great. But um, do you really? Yeah, yeah. And I, I've listened to. I grew up with. It's more folk than country, but you know, I grew up with a lot of James Taylor. Um, Carly Simon is way more folk than country, but I, you know, I, I have no, you know, the, another recent news story. I think this song pushed into number two, but um, Chasey Ch Chapman's "Fast Car" was number one because uh, it had been covered by a new artist, and there was a whole discourse about what it meant for a song written by, you know, queer black woman to be at the top of the country charts, and does it matter that it's now not being sung by her, and blah 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 blah. But there's, you know. Country music, because cause it's Southern music, has always had this relationship with black artists and black musical innovators. And I don't mind the, the genre at all. I think the, the song, the sound of it is lovely. Sometimes the political messaging in it, I find to be not my jam, as is in the instance of this song. But people who, I think, sing about the kinds of things that I care about, like the chicks, you know, I've, I've always been fond of. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the genre. It's pretty much <laughs> top down. I have yet to hear a country musician or song that I can appreciate. It's just not my, not for me. What's you, what's your genre of choice, Robbie? What do you listen to? <sighs> um, Outside of the the Zelda Legends of Zelda theme music. Oh, yeah, let the audience <laughs> know about that. Um, the alt rock of the '90s of my adolescent period, just like what's familiar to me as a kid. That, that feels just about right. <laughs> Look, I am, this is one where I'll definitely check the comments. I'm really curious, have you guys listened to this song? Is it a song that would have been on your radar but for this controversy? Do you think the Country Music uh, Channel uh, was wrong to pull this? And if so, do you think you know, boycott CMT or sub-listen to their programming? Let us know down below and we'll have more rising for you right after this.